Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 2552. Uh, my uh, phone is uh, recording this from the uh, freezer door handle, um, so that's why it seems to have just fallen down a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to be cooking something for my lunch. I was going to make um, miso green beans with shallots. I keep wanting to call it miso glazed, but like, I'm not really going to glaze it, although I could add some honey. That might be good. I might glaze it. Miso glazed green beans with shallots. So every so often, I'm talking with someone, and I'm like, I don't know what to, what I'm going to say in my video blog, and they're like, oh, you have a video blog? That's so cool. Or, oh, huh. And then they, like, list off something really, you know, intellectual or exciting or, like, high-minded or news thing. And they're like, what's your video blog about? I'm like, I, I ramble a lot. <laughs> I talk about my week. Um, my weeks, which are mostly the same, but you know what? That's okay, because it's okay with me and it's okay with you. Mm. <sighs> I also realized that it's December, and that's messed up, um, but on the upside, I will be seeing you in less than 30 days, and that is not messed up, that is awesome. Fewer than 30 days. You know what's pungent? Shallots. Shallots are pungent. I found out that uh, something like a quarter of fish don't have a stomach. Like, they eat and it doesn't go through an acidic thing, it just goes to their intestines and gets digested, you know? Um, and neither does the platypus. Like, I just think that's really weird because they, you know, at one point in their evolutionary history had them and then, pff, nope, not necessary anymore. Um, there's some interesting, you know, theories as to why this happened or how. Um, a lot of people seem to think it has something to do with the food uh, that they ate. Um, I think some people think the uh, uh, diet, particularly the fish, was um, basically like eating, I think it was coral maybe? I don't know. Eating stuff that neutralized the acid all the time. And there's a complicated to make protein it lives in acidic environments and helps break those break down the foods and that's what's in you know our stomachs and everyone's stomachs um but it you know if it won't work as well if there's no acid there and so if there's no acid there it's eventually one of the organisms down the line just loses i should not be gesturing with this knife that way uh <laughs> just loses the gene for that uh protein or doesn't express it uh, for a while and then loses it and then eventually just sort of no more stomach whatever which is cool i guess and makes sense i just never really thought about it i don't know if that made sense to you mysterious viewers because i was kind of rambling and for that i apologize if i look like i'm crying it's just because i just cut up a shallot fyi nothing is actually very upsetting in my life right now i mean that's not strictly true but nothing is making me cry at this exact moment while I'm chopping vegetables. I should not have chosen the tiny, tiny cutting board for this job. And if at all possible, avoid surgical mesh. You know, every so often I get, like, kind of concerned that maybe someday these videos will, like, go semi-viral and everyone will be like, what? These are so dumb, blah, 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 doing everything wrong. And then I'm like, you know what? This is a very reassuring kind of no one cares. Like, people who care about me and about you will watch these and get to know us, maybe. Um, and, like, maybe one or two strangers from the internet might stumble across them someday, but I haven't really been tagging them or anything, so maybe not. Um, but, like, this is a project for us, and it's kind of fun and nice to do a mostly self-centered project. My kitchen is starting to smell like fried onions, and it is glorious. I just need to, uh, 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 ah. do a thing. Doing a thing is what I need to do. I keep getting these do not eat packets in my food. What other flavors go with miso and honey? dumpling filling, which I can totally make like fancy dumpling shapes now. I'm really excited about this. I've tried the last like several times I've made dumplings or something like dumplings, and it never really worked out as intended until this last time. 
That sauce is gonna be delicious, but I think it needs more miso. See how big this is? Like, really, it's like half the size of my face, and that's too big. It's delicious, though. Like, it's, you know, it's sweet and uh, savory and fermenty. Fermenty foods are best foods, obviously. I was talking about something. Oh! So I was like out of breakfast food almost entirely. It was terrible. I had cereal, but I had no almond milk. And I had tamales, but I don't want to eat those every day. And I was out of waffles, because last time we went to Trader Joe's, they were out of waffles. And it was just a very disappointing time. I, I we were almost out of fruit. Like I had, we have these like clementine type oranges, and I had, you know, I had those. And I had some rice, but like, come on. So when we went to the grocery store today, and bought a lot of things. One of the lot of things was gluten-free waffles, and another one was almond milk, and another one was almond milk yogurt, because it's super cool, and gluten-free oats, and I'm totally doing overnight oats in the fridge, but I don't, I think I might have put too many oats in the jar. Too much oats. Too much oats. Bento box step one is filled. Step one is the complicated step, because I don't actually have to cook anything for the other steps put rice in it and then I put the meats on it and I still don't know what's gonna go in there I have peppers and yeah I love you and I will see you on the internet on Monday-ish and in real life on a couple days before New Year's Hooray!